Hi y'all, this is Bernie's Bernie's Creations. I have a project to share with you. If I bump the camera by accident, I have my cousin with me. My little baby cousin. Watch out, Rocco. Say hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. No, don't. You say hi. Hi. There you go. <laughs> um, so I want to share with you a mixed media altered box I made using... Woo! This is going to be difficult. Hold on. Let me move this. Um, this is using the Prima um, Seashore Collection. Um, so what I did, well this is a cigar box. I sanded it down, I spray painted it teal, and then I sanded the, uh, the places I don't, I didn't want to have paint. See here, so this is like where I sanded it. And um, the sides, and I attached paper all around. So there's like a sea, there's a paper up here, there's this one. There's the blue one. There's another one on the back. Now put your hands in the camera. And then um, this one I got this, I wanted it to say seashell. And then this is this one here. Rocco, keep your hands out of the camera. Um, so pretty much what I did uh, first, I laid down the gauze and I glued it down and then I just started layering flowers and then embellishments and then I sprayed everything. You can see it's nice and shimmery. I use Lindy's, bunch of different colors. So, and I distress the edges with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. On the bottom here, I have a couple pearls, and then this bling and pearl trim going all the way around the top. And then I have this seashell spoon at the top here. And then here, like the closure, it's um, a Prima Clock and this um, charm here with the seahorse. Seahorse. There we go. And then this is from the paper collection that I just cut out and I distressed this edges and inked it up and just glued that on there. Um, on the inside I just have, um, this is a Lindy Stamp Gang chipboard piece that I misted both of these with uh, uh, Lindy's and I glued him here. And then this is a Saw Crafters piece. You can see it's nice and shimmery and I glued that on the inside there. Um, for the binding, I use rosette trim from Hobby Lobby that I also misted with uh, Lindy Stamp Gang. And I really like, I've been using rosette trim as um, binding and I really, really like how it looks. Um, so let's see. Uh, I guess I'll start down here. Um, I have a starfish charm here and I touched everything with gesso and sand, like the texture paste as well. Um, so let's see, um, what I did was this, there's two spots I did this, this is a piece of a doily that I just cut into like a triangle and I glued that in like a cone shape and then I put a fabric rose on the inside of that so it looks like a flower and I did it up here as well, right there. Right Rocco? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have a bunch of these glittery seashell buttons. And so I'm Rocco. <laughs> and there's, um, so there's this one here. And then there's a little rose here. Most of these are Wildcraft Craft, Prima, or Spare Parts flowers. Um, this one, these are from Spare Parts. And this is Jake. Shh. And then this is a fabric flower and here. And that's Olivia. Rocco, you have to be quiet. Um, and then there's a wooden Kaiser Craft heart here. This is a Saw Crafters anchor and a little bling um, heart. And then I have these hip rose buds from Wildcraft Craft um, tucking out under here. Um, and then another rose, another seashell, this is a little starfish, and then a little octopus there. And then I have a piece of lace tucked in under there with a leaf from Lily. You want to move, Rocco? Go ahead. Just don't hit the camera. Whoop, you hit the camera anyway. Um, and then this is a trellis rose from Alder Crafts. Um, and then I have a bunch of little tiny real seashells tucked in a bunch of places, so oops. That one fell off, I have to re-glue it. Um, and then I have a pearl, um, and then there's a cherry blossom here. Um, there's a little bit of like gold and like the brown, because there's that in like the papers, there's like the gold tones. So that's why I kind of left like the wood and added that little pop of color. Um, and then this is the Prima flower, and you can see the texture paste, and I kind of just went around going like this with the, um, you know, tap and I untwisted like the spray cap and then I just went around going like this, shaking the little plastic piece that like pumps the 
you guys know what I'm talking about. That's how I got like the mixed media on here and I got the texture paste all over it. Um, I have a little st uh, stick pin up here and then um, I have, this is a spare parts, um, what is this, a keyhole, there we go. <laughs> and then this is a beautiful Renee Bouquet's butterfly. And then I have a spare parts arrow here. And then over here you can see poking out under here all the way up here. This is a spray from Prima. And then under this I have um, I have um, a cabochon big uh, rosette there. And then another pearl. Um, I have these little glittery flip flops tucked in under there. There's a seashell here. And then there's under this there's another fabric flower. I got that from Natasha's Scrap a Corner. And then there's this is a glittery leather kind of prima flower. And then these are my favorite flowers from Spare Parts and there's a little seashell in the middle of that flower. There's a button tucked under there. Um, another rose, this little acrylic piece. Uh, cherry blossom. Another trellis rose another seashell, sea shell, sorry guys. Um, and then I have a little jar here with sand in it. And then this is a spare parts feather. And then this is from Saw Crafters and it says, I love beach, like I love the beach. Um, and then I have a Tim Holtz gear there. This is a spare parts flower, paper flower. And then there's a wild rose underneath that. And then there's a little fabric rose and a pearl. And then back over here, there's another rose and some more seashells. Another large trellis rose from Wallace Crafts. And then up there, there's a little cherub. I forget where I got this, but there's texture paste on her. And then there's a little crown I put on them. And then over here, there's a little glass bobble. Kind of like, I kind of want it to look like bubbles. Another, this is a, a sand dollar. I think that's what they're called. Um, so see this flower, this is the glittery leather fabric flower. This is what this is, this is just a darker tone of this blue. And this is a different flower, Prima flower underneath that I took the middle out of and I put that on top of that one. And then there's another um, Kaiser, and it's not Kaiser, I think it's Kaiser Craft. I forget, another wooden heart there. And then there's another seashell there, another bobble, and then there's that rose I was talking about with the doily. And then there's another cherry blossom there, a gold one and a cream one, and another pearl, and then another seashell there. Um, and then I have a key tucked into that flower there. This is a Saw Crafters wooden shell. And then I have a Prima clock underneath all of that, and then these little, the tulip roses, or whatever, I forget what they're called, but I have that there. And then up this way, I have the wooden, like, seagulls from Saw Crafters, and I have three of them, so, like, they're, they're flying off. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, let me know what you think. I had a lot of fun with this, and I hope you guys like, um, like my new kind of style of crafting. I'm really trying to evolve and, you know get really creative and you know push my limits and I think I've achieved that so I'm very proud of myself so yeah let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to y'all soon bye